So I'm gonna make the easiest bread recipe you've probably ever seen in your life. I finally just got yeast, so I'm gonna get started on that and I'll do step by step. It's so easy, it's so fast, and once your dough, once you leave your dough out for like two hours just to rise, you can put it in the fridge with saran wrap over it and leave it in there for up to three days. And like the longer it sits, the better it's gonna taste, but I have to make mine super quick for today, so it's not gonna sit for that long. So you're gonna do three cups of unbleached flour, um, all-purpose flour, or you could use like a bread flour if you prefer. I just used unbleached for everything. So three cups. Two teaspoons of like cooking salt or kosher salt. And then two teaspoons of your instant um, yeast. Hi, oh, I leave wrong. And then you're just gonna stir it around. I just like whisk it around real quick. Just make sure it's all mixed up. Okay, so next you're going to warm up some um, tap water. You can do very hot tap water like through your tap or you can heat it up in the microwave um, just make sure it's not over 130 degrees because then that will mess everything up so yeah so this is a half cup or a cup and a half of water and then I kind of just put it in there and mix it around to see if I need more or less because it's gonna be a dough that is more um, runny it's not like dough dough if you know what I mean So I probably will honestly need more water than a cup and a half, but we'll see. There should be. So that was just the rest of the cup and a half of water. This actually might end up being good enough, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be sloppy, not. Dodo. Dodo. -y. Okay, so once that's all mixed up, then we will put saran wrap on it. Let's see what it's gonna look like. And put saran wrap over it, and then you will just let it rise for about two hours um, on the counter. And then once it's risen, then we'll bake it. Or if you're not going to bake it right away, after that two hours, then you put it in your refrigerator and let it sit in there until you're ready to bake it. So this actually rose really quick. Um, there's 31 minutes left. So I'm gonna start the oven right now, get that preheated and then put the Dutch oven in there, preheat the oven, and then we'll get started on this. I'm gonna show you as best as I can right here. Um, see our dough, it's definitely ready. And then you're just gonna use your scraper and flour your surface. And remember this is like soupy you probably just don't even want to touch it because it's just gonna make a mess and then you're gonna put all your corners together or I don't even know what this is called it's kind of scoop it all into a ball it doesn't have to be perfect and then oops then you're gonna wanna transfer it to your parchment paper. This part is always crazy, because it gets everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this a little bit. Okay, so then we're just gonna flip it and kind of flip it on here. I'm just gonna keep it in that in doughy. You can sprinkle a little bit of flour on top if you want. I don't know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. All right, so it's in the oven, preheated at 450 degrees, and then 
you'll actually put it in there for um, 30 minutes and then you'll take off the top and put it in there or leave it in there for another 12 minutes. But the last 12 minutes I would definitely check on it because sometimes it cooks faster and then it like burns, which you don't want that. It hasn't happened to me yet because I don't like burnt bread so I'm always like, oh. so yeah. Wow, it didn't even show me 450.